What's up guys, Penguin Overlord here, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, I've been playing quite a bit of Cyberpunk over the past couple of months, and I've been really enjoying playing the game, especially with this build that I want to show you guys today, which is the two-second cooldown Sandivistan build, which essentially allows you to trigger bullet time over and over again in rapid succession, which is pretty awesome. So, let's start off with the... Uh, skill point allocation now i wasn't originally going to do this for this particular character um and i do have to for full disclosure i do have to say that this isn't an idea original necessarily to me because other people have talked about in the comments of youtube videos but i haven't really seen anyone do an actual video on this at least with my specific take on it um so i figure it would be okay to do now Obviously, I have high body reflexes, technical ability, and a little bit of cool, but you don't necessarily have to max out reflexes or body in order for, for this uh, build to work. Uh, you only really need 12 body, 15 reflexes, and 18 technical ability in order to actually pull this build off. Uh, these are just kind of extra for this specific character, and a future iteration of this build will have different points uh, allocated differently. So, let's start off, let's hit the cyberware, because that's pretty much one of your most important, if not the most important aspect of upgrading your character in the game. Now, there are three components uh, to make this build work. So, let's start off with the Sandivistan itself in question, which is the Chianti Sandivistan Mark IV. Hopefully, I pronounced that correctly, but this is the one you are going to use in order to get the fast cooldown. Now, the one downside of this is that you need to buy it off of fingers. So, if you happen to punch him and or kill him um, when you do the quest with him, um, you're uh, not going to be able to get this um, build, so you'll have to start a new save. So that's kind of the one downside of this build. But if you do buy it from him before you do the mission uh, with Judy uh, and you encounter Fingers, um, you'll be okay. Um, so the Chianti Sound of Vista Mark IV. Actually, let me unequip uh, all these just to show off. Uh, the normal cooldown procedure. So this slows time down to 25% for 12 seconds, which is one of the uh, more effective sand divisions in the game. The uh, Chianti Mark V obviously slows time down even more, and there might be another one that matches it or close. I don't remember off the top of my head the current moment, but that's not important. So as it stands stock, you have a cooldown of 15 seconds, which is a relatively short amount of time uh, compared to some of the other Sandivistans in the game, but we're going to make that uh, much, much slower. And of course, it also increases any damage dealt uh, by 15% when Sandivistans are active, and uh, increases crit chance by 15% when it's active. And it has three Cyberware mod slots. There's another... Um, Sandivistan with the uh, cooldown of 15 seconds. Uh, I think it's the Dynlar Mark III, if I remember correctly. But the problem is that Sandivistan only has uh, two mod slots, so this build's not going to work with that. And the downside of that one, too, is that it doesn't have... It has a. Uh, it only slows time to 50%, which is not good because some of the other enemies in this game do have the slow time ability. So you'll basically be on an equal playing field with them. This, you get more of an advantage with them. Anyway, so what we're going to do in order to make get this down to two seconds, first off, is to equip three set legendary Sandivistan uh, heat sinks. Now, the only way to get legendary Sandivistan heat sinks is is to craft them so what you're going to have to do you're going to have to go buy the crafting spec from the ripper dock and arroyo um and then level up your crafting skill to level 18 so you will need a minimum tech um a level of 18 in order to do that uh but once you hit 18 basically all of the, your craftable mods such as resist street smart armadillo uh crunch and of course sandivis and heat sink uh, will all be legendary when you craft them. That was a change that happened in patch 1.5, um, and that's why this build is actually possible. In previous versions of the game, you couldn't really get legendary Sandivis and Heat Sinks, so um, yeah, that's one reason why this build hasn't really been done on YouTube before. So that's going to be 
essentially part two. So what this does now, so once you equip four, uh, I'm mean, sorry, three Cenevis and Heat Sinks, each of them is going to reduce cooldown by four seconds. So you get a 12 second total uh, cooldown reduction with uh, the Mark IV Cenevis uh, Chianti, which is still pretty good. It has three seconds, but we can make it even uh, less with the Bioconductor um, a circulatory system mod. Now, and this is one of the things that you can play with. With this build, I went with the legendary one because I have a bunch of other cyberware such as Second Heart, Biomonitor, Krenzikov, Optic Camo. Um, so I went with the legendary one so I could reduce all of the cyberware cooldowns by 30%. Uh, so these would all be affected. Um, but you don't necessarily need to do that for this build. The rare Bioconductor will still take your cooldown to uh, two seconds, and you only need 12 body in order to um, use that. You can also get the Epic one, which is which requires 15 body for a 20% bonus, and the rare one is reduces it by 10%. But all of these are going to push um, the cooldown down to two seconds. Now, why do you, would you want to do that in Cyberpunk? Well, this essentially allows you to trigger Sandivistin over and over again in rapid succession. Now, that's not going to really make a huge amount of difference in the assault in progress sort of NCB, NCPD uh, scanner hustles because, you know, there's a short amount of enemies. There's not a lot of enemies in that area, so... No matter what Santa Vista yields, you'll basically be able to take them all out within slow time. But where this really shines is when you have more extended encounters, such as main missions, uh, organized crime missions, and certain gigs where you have to take out a bunch of enemies. That's where this build really shines, because you can just trigger a uh, slow time over and over again, and basically you they they just can't stop you you can just dance around everyone's bullets and just take everyone out very easily so that's the core of this build um it's a very s a relatively simple one uh but there's optional things that you can do in addition to this to make the build even more powerful uh obviously for one we've got Krenzikov. so one thing i'd like to do is after this expires i'll activate Krenzikov by dodging and uh, that will give me even more uh, slowed time. And that will um, basically cover the, um, the cooldown for the Sand of Vistan. So basically, I mean, there's going to be short periods where, you know, you don't react in time. You're going to be in normal time. But you can, it's, this is basically infinite uh, bullet time, which is pretty awesome. Now, another thing that I do have with the nervous system is the nano relays because... Well, this is supposed to increase Sandivistin and Karenzikov duration by two seconds, but I found it only really increases it by one. So if it was functioning properly, we would actually have 14 seconds of slow time, but in reality, we have 13. It, it kind of sucks that it's not functioning properly, but it's still additional time, and you're still pretty powerful with it. So I hope they fix this, but I'm not super mad that it's broken, uh, even though I think it should be fixed. Uh, another thing that makes this build really powerful is Optic Camo, because once you're invisible and in Santa Vista, number one, the cool, the uh, countdown for the Optic Camo is obviously slowed down when you're using Santa Vista, so it's the same amount of time in real time, but in when you're actually playing the game, it, it feels like it lasts longer, um, because it does, <laughs> and you just... You can basically just annihilate people before they even see you. Stealth is very easy with this uh, combination. You can actually trigger Sandivistin again and still have some optic camo left over after the first one is used up. So that helps a lot with the more stealthy sections of the game. And of course, if you're running around with blades or silenced weapons, you can basically take out enemies and they can't even react to you. And I think this also does help in open combat. Uh, bull enemy bullets seem to miss a little more, even when I'm not having Sandivistin activated. So that's a cool thing as well. Now some other stuff, uh, let's go to Frontal Cortex. This is basically where the main part of the uh, Sandivistin builds over. Uh, so now I'm going to share basically some of the extra stuff and 
my ways where I've made this sort of unique to me. Uh, so we've got heal on kill, that's kind of obvious. Uh, me Mechatronic Core, which again, that's a, just a good bonus. 50% um, increased damage, that's always a good time. Uh, second Heart, for obvious reasons. Biomonitor, for obvious reasons. I think this might be bugged though, because I, I don't really see this being triggered very often. Uh, I've got Shock and All Detoxifier, just stuff to throw into the immune system here. Subdermal Armor, um, again, for obvious reasons, even though this isn't that much of a bonus. And Fireproof Coating. I do have Synaptic Signal Optimizer since I have um, a high body um, level, so I have increased health, so that just does help with survivability more. I do have Bionic Joints. Uh, the Epic version, um, you can only really get it through Cyber Engine tweaks and entering a command into the system, so basically cheating. It's not actually available in the normal game. It's in the game somewhere, so I'm sure they're going to implement it sometime, hopefully. But um, I don't feel too bad about using, like, a command to get it, because you otherwise normally can't. But, yeah, that reduces recoil of ranged weapons, and this is a, basically a gunslinger build in this I iteration. Um, it would have been smarter to spec into blades from the beginning uh, if I was going to go with high body. Um, but that's just a lesson learned for next time. Uh, Smart Link Sand... Uh, Legendary Smart Link Cyberware, obvious reasons. I do like using smart guns. We'll go over that when we get into the guns. Uh, Mantis Blades, I use these quite a bit. Mostly against other Sandivistan and Krenznikov users because um, they can dodge bullets fairly easy. So I'll just run up to them and slice and dice. Um, of course, I have the Electrical Blades on these right now because that's good against robots. And of course bit of spoilers here, but of course against the endgame boss, Adam Smasher. I haven't gotten to fight him yet with this character. I still have some main missions left to go, but I am very much looking forward to taking him out <laughs> with this build, with multiple, uh, with the fast cooldown Sandivistan build, and with Mantis Blades and electric damage, he's going to get so fucked over. It's going to be awesome. And of course, reinforced tendons because double jump is practically a requirement because it's just so much fun. All right, so that covers the uh, cyberware. Let's go over to weapons. Now, this is a sort of gunslinger type build when I originally started this because I do like playing with pistols in this game. Um, I kind of decided that before I even learned that you could even do the fast cooldown sand of Vistan build which most people when they've talked about it they only really focus on uh this part and not using a bioconductor in conjunction with it to bring it down to two seconds so that's why i kind of felt it was okay to make a video about it plus again i don't haven't really seen anyone make videos about it anyway i'm babbling uh so i basically i mainly use two pistols so i've got the overture uh melorian overture right here um Obviously, I've got them all with crunch mods just to push the damage higher and a uh, legendary optic. I think this is only available through mods because I do have a mod that allows legendary stuff to appear in shops more often. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get it through the base game of like a legendary scope, but I did buy this through the shop. I have the suppressor on there. It makes more sense to have this suppressed than the other pistol uh, simply because it still does has a high level of base damage but yeah this i use in conjunction with optic camo and the sand of vista to take out enemies quietly and really sort of thin the herd before anyone real realizes what's happening but if things do go loud i also have the tsunami systems uh new way i think that's how you pronounce it they never did release a pronunciation guide so hopefully you're pronouncing it correctly but um yeah, I like this pistol too. It's fun. I'm probably going to replace it with the Malorian Arms 3516, aka Johnny's Gun, once I get that in the in this uh, character. But this is a fun one as well. Um, it's got a faster rate of fire than the Overture, and with uh, this handgun muzzle break, which again, legendary. I'm not sure if you can actually get that in the game. I used mods to again make uh, legendary stuff appear more often in the game and that includes shops uh, same deal with the attachment here but yeah increasing damage by 25 percent that's good that makes the new even more effective um than it normally is so i can still sometimes get one shot kills with it but sometimes it takes two or three shots to uh 
kill enemies once things have gone loud. But the faster rate of fire makes up for it. Now, the third weapon kind of depends on use. So I really do like the Yinglong uh, smart submachine gun. I like smart guns in general as kind of an oh shit sort of option where if things have gone really wrong or I'm fighting against someone really tough, like again, a Sandavistan user, um, I can use smart tracking and still get good hits on him. And plus with the uh, EMP effect, that does seem to help a little bit. At least shut him shut down their um, fast time uh, slow time abilities temporarily. Another option that I will use sometimes is the Sorori Katana um, because sometimes the Mantis Blade um, has like activates the finisher and that kind of takes up time in Sandivistan which is annoying and of course leaves you a little bit more vulnerable to enemy fire. So sometimes the blade is the way to go and this one is a very powerful blade with the 500 plus crit damage a uh, percent uh, crit damage which is it just makes it deadly um anything else here and there's some other guns i like the tk tk uh sorry tk tki 20 shingen if i can talk tonight um that's a good one to have i like this this one's okay i like adam smasher's version better this one's kind of a fun one to mess around with and i've got the short sniper rifle just in case I want to make a far shot. I don't use it super often. Same deal with this. This is a, actually a good weapon uh, to use with this build. Because you do generally want high damage weapons with this build. Because you want to take out enemies as efficiently as possible. So that's why I don't really use the low damage like automatic pistols. Because um, it just takes too much shots to kill enemies. You kind of want uh, as much damage coming out as possible. Um... But yeah, this this rifle would be a good one as well. I haven't used it a ton, but that would be another good option to have. Uh, as far as gear, I just use armor mods for everything. I don't really see the point of using anything else, really, just to help with the survivability. Because I do play on hard or very hard. I'm actually probably going to be switching difficulties to very hard. Because um, very hard in the very beginning of Cyberpunk is just a little bit too brutal. Hard is hard enough as it is. I think, at least in the early game. But now that I'm, like, level 48, I really should be switching to um, very hard difficulty because it's kind of a breeze now with this game. And, of course, we got Optic Camo equipped. Now, let's go over to the skills. Uh, what I've done specifically with this build, it's, this is kind of optional. It's up to personal preference, really. Um, again, as I've said, I've specialized in handguns for this build. Blades probably would have made a little bit more sense given my high body stat, but you can you guys can go see um, I'll just hover over these skills real quick. This is what I've spec into so basically it's a gunslinger build that can stand up to some scrutiny I didn't spec into annihilation or street ball brawler um, I did put a few points in some of the better assault skills like savage stoic uh, named bullets uh, executioner and a long shot, because those just make sense. Uh, you know, just for the few times I want to mess around with uh, assault rifles or smart submachine guns. Uh, those are good ones to have. Uh, handguns, I've spec'd into everything, because this is, again, primarily pistol build. When I do get handguns to 20, I will be unlocking this, because I've always wanted to unlock the skill, but I haven't really been able to do it. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, acting getting this skill and being able to hit crits and getting damage and armor increase by 30% for 5 seconds. That's pretty awesome. Uh, blades, uh, just the basic good ones. Um, Judge Jury and Executioner, Fiery Blast. Uh, that really makes a difference, especially against boss mo uh, boss uh, characters. I almost said boss monsters, like this is a fucking fantasy game. <laughs> My bad, guys. And this video is getting really long, so I'll try to wrap it up. Um, but yeah, this skill helps. Blessed Blade also helps, even though it's, I think it was nerfed. Uh, and Death Bolt is always a good thing. Um, technical ability, basically all the normal crafting stuff, um, that you see here. The one thing that you do need, again, is Edge Runner Artisan. That allows you to craft legendary items, which will allow you to craft the Sandivistan Heat Sinks. Uh, what's it? 
I didn't put anything in engineering. I might later. This build isn't technically 100% done, but it's good enough to show off the uh, two seconds end of his build uh, cooldown. So uh, I, I have been starting to experiment with cool. The next version of the two second cooldown build will be more uh, cool focused. Um, especially now that I realize I can actually use the rare bioconductor in order to still get the benefit. So right now I just have um, Assassin unlocked in, the, in Jitsu skill. I will get Sniper, which will be good with the uh, Silenced Overture. And uh, Cold Blood, I have this a little bit specced into. So I've got the full spec here. And easy out, which is good because I'm normally within five ranges because I just walk up to people and headshot them. So that helps a lot. Um, I'll most likely get rapid blood flow because I can only get up to cool. Uh, sorry, ten cool in this uh, with this current character. So next time I'll be investing more in cool. So I'll most likely do rapid blood flow and defensive clo clotting, and that'll be it. Unfortunately, I will not be able to spec further in cold blood, but. That covers the entire build for the two second cooldown uh, Sandivis build. It's a lot of fun to play with. It's uh, the one thing I, I really like about Cyberpunk is just how you can become a total god among men and just make a powerful build that just slaughters enemies. That's in general about RPGs. That's what I really like about them. If you can. If your game can make me into an absolute demon of a character and just be able to dominate everything, I will love your game. It's why I really like Borderlands 2, but not so much 3, because you can just make straight up OP characters. And Cyberpunk's kind of the same way at the end of the day. There's so many options, so many builds that you can do to make your character just OP and slaughter everything. So. That's why I still play this game, even, you know, after all the controversy about the bad launch and everything. I still enjoy this game, so, um, I will be posting a, maybe a couple more Cyberpunk videos. I don't know if I'll do full Cyberpunk for the channel, but, again, I've been really enjoying this game. I've been enjoying this build, and I hope you've enjoyed this video as well. So, thank you all for sticking by me for the past 22 minutes just ranting about Cyberpunk. I really do appreciate it. I'm Penguin Overlord, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care, guys.